Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it's been a couple days since recording this episode and the last one, so I took all the Shadow Pokemon that I caught recently from those uh, colored freaks and just run around this room constantly. That's all I did until their heart meters start to turn white. So now that I got that taken care of, why don't I purify them right away? The reason why I did not leave is because there's a cutscene here. Sound off! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, eight? Now there are too many of us! Hmm. Brothers, beware. There may be spies among us. Hey, look! It's that kid again! Hi. Are you guys still dumb? Yeah, you guys are still dumb. Didn't I tell you to go home? Oh, we gotta fight again? Um, I did not mean to do this. But at least now I can leave. Oh, he's got a new Pokemon this time. Well, he's still got a Hoodoo, but he's got a Slack Hop in its place. Okay, I can work with that. Alright, so yeah, every Pokemon that I've gotten from these six guys is going to be, like, completely good. Alright, Thundershock you. And I'd say go with... Let's try it Secret Power. I would laugh if Secret Power is, like, linked to fighting. That would be hilarious. We'll see. I have no idea what type it's affiliated with. Oh, but at least I dropped its accuracy. It did not pay off, though, because he still hit me. That is pretty cool. Alright, Bullet Seed it is. Actually, Shadow Wave would work better. Nah, not that it matters now. I'm kind of not interested in fighting them right now. Just to see what different Pokemon they have. But at least this is a good way to get some money. Isn't that enough already? Go play somewhere else. I'm not sure if you can fight these guys as much as you want. So I'm just going to leave and head... Can I just select the place? Thank you. I tried to select it, but it went to all the other places instead. Alright, so I'm just going to get this taken care of, and then we can actually continue on with the rest of the game. With newly purified Pokemon. So with that, I should probably get them all on my roster right now. Just to simplify things, and not have to make two trips. Alright, deposit the non-shadow Pokemon, of course. Even you... You haven't held any other items since that Ultra Ball. I am very disappointed. Okay, Mareep is done. Gulpin is done. And Ball Toy is done. Alright, let's go. Get six Shadow Pokemon purified. Things are definitely looking up. I mean, there are still some, uh, lots of other Shadow Pokemon remaining. I mean, it's not even close to done. I'm very curious as to what my final team is going to look like. Well, first off, let's get CDOT done. There we go, that's much better. So what do you learn? Giga Drain? Wow! And... Refresh. Not enough to gain a level. Alright. Alright, I gotta give a nickname to you. What am I gonna give you? Oh, you look like an acorn. So I'm just gonna call you... A? Corn. Alright, that's good enough. It's kind of Canadian. 
There you go. Don't know what I'm going to call you after you evolve. Because <laughs> some of the names that I give you is not going to be consistent for what you're going to be later on. Maybe I'll change it if I feel like it. Alright, next up is Feel. I think I have an idea of what I'm going to call you. Aurora Beam, I like that move. And Charm. Okay, he didn't gain any experience. Alright, so... You like to clap, because you're like a sea lion. So I'm going to call you Clapper. I think that was the name of the uh, sea lion in Donkey Kong Country 2. I wanted to call him The Clap, but that's described for something else completely, and it would just be very wrong. Houndor, you're number three. I mean, look at the way he breathes, it's so heavy. Look at it. It's a bit unnerving in some way. Faint attack, okay. And charm. And of course you get your ribbon. Okay, I'm definitely... I hate when that happens. I'm definitely calling you Lola. Well, because you're a female dog. There's another word for female dog, but I don't think that would be appropriate. And I bet you the game would just reject it completely. Alright, Mareep is next. Oh my god, look at the way he breeds too. You got some powerful lungs. Body slam. And heal bell. Alright, instead of Waldo, how about Wooldo? Where's Wooldo? Huh. That'll do. I suppose, or that'll do. Gulpin and Baltoy might be a bit tricky. Actually, I think I might have an idea for Gulpin. But let's see what moves it got first. Uh, Shockwave. That's a weird one. And Sing. How would a gulp and sing? Look at its lips. Yeah, you kind of remind me of Kirby. So yeah, we're going to call you Kirby. Luckily, you're already male, so I don't feel like I'm being a bit weird. Can Kirby be considered an androgynous name? I don't think so. All right, Baltoy, you're last. Oh, that's so much better. Uh, Rock Tomb. And Refresh. All right, Baltoy... Uh, for now, why don't I just call you Beyblade? Because you also spin. And it keeps the anime people happy. <laughs> Alright, so that's good enough for now. If you... Is that a female ball toy I have? Oh no, it doesn't have a gender. Alright. Because I if it was a female ball toy, I would have called it Beyblade. Like B-A-E Blade. And that would probably make the, uh, internet people happy. <laughs> Which should be bad. Alright, let's head back to the lab. And actually continue on the game, because it's been ten minutes since I made progress. To be fair, being able to purify Shadow Pokemon is progress in its own right. Because I would have had to do it all anyway. I'm just cutting out the middleman by doing it right now. These six... These schmucks are still there. Alright, let's uh, make some changes to my team. Like, what am I going to go with? Let's see. I 
don't think I want to go with you. And I don't want to go with you. I might want to keep you around. Uh, let's think about this for a moment here. I definitely want to take General Ben just for, like, item pickups. And you're definite. And my last slot should probably go to... Let's give it to... Punch Buggy, why not? I do need to level up some of these Pokemon. How's my team itself doing? They don't need healing. Alright, they're good. Oh, we'll go with Punch Buggy and Clapper. That's gonna be my starting team. What are these machines? They don't do anything. Alright, they're just there for no reason. I will go in now. Hey! You're not supposed to be in here! Uh, you're not supposed to be walking on ceilings, but we can't tell you how to live your life now, can we? Alright, Duskull and Skitty. I think I have a decent team ready for that. Alright, so what are their levels? 14 and 14. You know what? That's workable. I'm pretty sure that'll still hit. Maybe we should just focus all on the Duskull. Rather than spread it out and face two attacks. Oh, that Aerial Ace was terrible. Maybe I should have tried Psybeam instead. You picked the wrong choice there. Okay, that's much better. Nightshade! Oh, that's 14 damage right off the hop. That's close to half for Punch Buggy. Alright, we'll try a side beam this time. That should do a little bit better. Uh, not good enough, actually. Now I'm just going to be wasting a turn doing so little damage. Ooh, that hurts. Alright, there we go. We got it. Oh, so close to a level up. Let's confuse it. I might be able to get it on the first try. And still survive. Oh, it missed. Oh, yeah. Uh, Punch Buggy's down. Well, I tried to get it a level. Should have switched when I had the chance. Alright, Lola, you're coming in. Dogs don't like cats. I felt this would be a winning team. Wow, Lola, you did a lot of work there! <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. As soon as you come in, you're like, you get experience for doing nothing. Oh my! I'm not supposed to lose to you! Yeah, you are. It's coded into the game. And then she just disappears. Yeah, I... I definitely need to be leveling up these Pokemon a bit more to make them stronger. Maybe I'll give Mount Battle a chance someday, but for right now, let's just continue on with this part of the game. Hmm. Something tells me I might need to go this way. No running in the hall! Maybe you shouldn't be, like, jumping down into the hall either, Javion. Or Javian. Dodo and Talo. Oh, Clapper's gonna have so much fun with this with Aurora Beam. Some tells me I gotta switch pu switch Punch Buggy out right away. Flying types are not exactly gonna be my thing. Oh, you got an item now. Good. Oh, 
Okay, this should get you to level 13 once this battle is over. Seems how they like to use flying types. I'm not too worried in the slightest. Wow, you both went after, uh... You were gonna go after Punch Buggy, but I switched out. Nice. Dodo's down. Yay! Level 13. Not a great level up in terms of stats, but I'll take it. And this will be over before it even begins. That was a bit of a waste of a turn. But it's not gonna matter. There we go, that was an easy win. Alright, let's see what item uh, Gentle Ben is holding now. Yeah, you, you do run that. You do run away. Go. You don't need to be here, or just disappear forever. Because that's how it works. Oh, it's an antidote. Alright. That's good enough. Okay, I can open that door. But what's in the other hallway? Ugh! XD-001's failure is going to send our plans right off the rails! Uh, I wish we'd finish up with this research and get out from this dank underground warren. Ah! Who are you? Where'd you get in from? The entrance? R&D Teco. Or Tekat. Tekat? Clamperol and Corfish. Yeah, that should be fun. I think I might have to switch out Clapper for this one. Something tells me that Clamp Pearl might have an ice move, so I need to be careful. You know what? I'll give Acorn a chance. I think you level up at level 18? I'm not sure. Confuse it. It didn't confuse. Alright. I see how it is. Okay, at least that bubble was weak. Oh, you got a crit on that one. Clamp. That's not gonna do much. Yeah, but now I can't move. Or I can't switch out. Yeah, let, let's just spread out the damage. At least Psy Beam does decent damage. Oh, I only got two times out of that. That sucks. Man, you must not really like Acorn at all. <laughs> You're all focusing on him. Or her. Yeah, it's a her. I gotta remember that. Okay, let's just... You know what? I'm gonna use your turn to heal. I really need to buy some more potions. Hit it with another bullet seed. You know what? I... I thought about this, I should have used Giga Drain instead. That was a waste of a potion. Giga Drain actually would have been better to use. Where was that crit when I needed it sooner? Bit too late for that now. Zubat! Oh, I hope it doesn't have any bug moves. That would suck. Oh well, I guess I can side beam the Zubat instead.
Hopefully this will crit. It doesn't, but decent damage. Ah, it's got leech life. And you went after the wrong Pokemon! That was a dumb choice. Why do I only get two every time? This is annoying. Like, why can't I just get three? Just getting three would have made a world of difference. The game doesn't like me. How do you clamp two Pokemon? How do you make that work? Okay, this battle is over now. Oh yeah, time to finish off that clamp roll. Boom! Once is all I needed. Level 14! Still level 17! What'd you do to deserve this? Um, you took this job. I bet your Cypher's not paying you much. This is bad news. I got to alert, alert Lavrina about the security breach. Okay, so we can assume she's in that direction. Alright. Uh, I should probably go heal. And then I'll go check out that elevator. But there's also that hallway, too. So there's three hallways. Alright. Alright. Well, as long as the guys don't respawn, and I don't think they do, we should be able to get further. At least there's a healing machine right here. So if you get beat up too much, you can just retreat. That is so convenient. Let me check out the bottom hall. It doesn't appear to open from this side. Okay. And he went that way, so I'm going to assume that if I go... Oh, this door's locked. Here's an an ID card. Alright, well that narrows it down that I have to go right. So, let us do that. Probably need to get an ID card first for us to get to the admin. Oh, this must be the basement. Hi. When are they finally going to get that guy to spill the beans about that purification research? He might be a, the authority on purification, but if he won't talk, our work's not going anywhere. Wah! What are you doing here? Eavesdropping. Messack. Why did I give you a girl's voice? I thought you were a woman with very short hair. So, Anorith and Lily. Two fossil Pokemon. Alright, so let, let's deal with this right now. Uh, let me try to supersonic you. Wait, I selected Aerial Ace for some reason. This might work. Maybe Lilip is rock and grass. I tend to forget that one a little bit. Because it's not as memorable as the other fossils. So I might just do regular damage. Yeah, I thought so. At least it's confused. And pretty slow. <sighs> so far I've never gotten an opponent to hit itself. And if it only knows Astonish, then I have nothing to worry about. Alright, let's deal with the Anorith first. It's the fastest out of the four of us. I'd say if Water Gun does a lot, we should be good. Hopefully it does. It just enough. Nice. Ooh, that was a lot of experience. 
Then again, Punch Buggy is not a strong Pokemon, so it's gonna level up pretty fast. Used Acid! Okay, this is a, a kid-friendly game. What the hell? At least it's weak. Just drops the defense. Um, let me hit it with Mud Slap instead. I didn't expect to do much there. But Aerial Ace wouldn't have done better either. On the plus side, I dropped the accuracy. Oh, it finally hit itself in confusion! No time that would happen. I was getting unlucky with the, uh, confusion attacks. Well, I don't really have much in the way of strong moves. So I'll have to hope it hits itself enough to beat it up. Or just water gun it to death. That works too. Perfect. Yeah, that did shake you up. Cause you suck. All I want to do is work on my research! Don't disturb me, please! And he just turns away like it never happened. Oh? Who's wandering around here? Me. I stand out from the rest of you guys. You all look the same. Next year. Swin up and shop it. Alright, this should be interesting. Some tells me I might need to switch. Actually, I might need to switch both of them at this rate. What would be a good choice here? Actually, I don't think any... Actually, you know what? Maybe... <sighs> well, this is hard. Because Swinub is ground and ice. So I don't really have much in the way that can help me. So I guess I'll just switch to Acorn. Hope for the best. I don't want to switch both of them out at the same time. Because then I don't get to attack. So I think if I just switch with one and attack with the other... I'll get something out of it. Knock off? Well, we're not holding items, so I'm not worried. Hopefully I can get a crit out of this. Jeez, I didn't even need the crit! That was a nice direct hit! Spinarak. Oh, that one's a shadow Pokemon. Alright, we need to try to catch it. Well, first let's focus on the Sween Up. And I'll just water gun Spinarak. Hopefully I don't take it out. Odor Sleuth. Not a big deal. Okay, that actually worked. Nice. Still only got two hits out of it. What else is new? You know what? Spinarak is uh, not that strong. I'd say we can try to catch it now. Well, I need to Giga Drain the Swin Up. Alright, let's see if this works. So far, I've been lucky with my catches. And that was not one of them. Why did it look like it was about to be snagged? It didn't even shake that much. Why are you giving me false hope?
Okay, that simplifies things a lot. Yeah. Level 15. Oh, I can learn Comet Punch now. Heals Poison, Paralysis, or Burn. Um, this is a hard choice. Because I might want to keep that. But then again, I have items. So, Comet Punch it is. There. Now my Punch Buggy has four offensive moves. Well, Super Sonic may not count as one. Alright, let's try another Pokeball. At least I know Water Gun is not gonna off it. So if this fails, I'll just use another one. Are you kidding me? It's just gonna keep getting one shake each time now? Okay, just water gun it, but I swear to god, if you crit... You know what, it's gotta be caught now. Oh, what am I doing? At least I have 17 Pokeballs left. You know what, for your turn, why don't you use Charm? If this still fails, at least I can weaken its attack power. There, that's better. I should just focus more on weakening them. Like, I'm thinking oh, I'm just gonna catch them when they're at green health. And then I'm just wasting balls. That's right, you get out of here. Oh, a revive, thanks. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here, and in the next episode, we're gonna continue on through the Cypher Lab. Goodbye, everyone.